What up, boxing world? Amir Khan thinks he's the one who's going to be um, fighting Pacquiao in 2016. Now, I don't think necessarily that's a, a bad fight. As a matter of fact, it's better than Algeri, better than Brandon Rios. You know, you guys already know Amir Khan got a country behind him. And not to mention he's Muslim and Pakistani. So you got all those people that's going to boost up the pay-per-view, right? And not to mention also, if Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan fight in Dubai, more money for them, right? So um, I'm not against it. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao versus Amir Khan. Now, I'm not just going to make a... A prediction as of yet um, that will be in a near future if the fight um, does become official and it's announced then yeah obviously but um, right off the back I think Amir Khan will be all right you know what I'm saying I think I think he'll be all right against Pacquiao you know do I think that Amir Khan got a chance against Pacquiao yes you know what I'm saying sure why not if Bradley got a chance against Pacquiao why wouldn't Amir Khan right but if I was gonna bet it then I would have to go with Pacquiao. I don't think Amir Khan is uh, is that solid that he could just go through Pacquiao, just walk on to Pacquiao and knock him out. It ain't gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. It ain't gonna be walking apart. Um, but any fighter has a chance to win. You know, it's it's inside the ring. It's who comes to fight and who feels better that night. You know, comes fight night. But Amir Khan versus Manny Pacquiao 2016, I wouldn't mind that at all. You know, Pacquiao is coming off a uh, thorn, uh, rotator cuff, uh, surgery, and still on rehab. There's some rumors out there too that Manny Pacquiao might be coming off off of uh, rehab and um, healed uh, or healing fast that he might be able to fight uh, late later on this year 2015 now nah, I highly doubt that I think that Manny Packer should take his time you know he'll properly be a hundred percent and uh, fight next year you know, February March that's good enough you know not necessarily a year from May 2nd um, or from his surgery what June when he had the surgery or later on on May then you know eight nine ten months it is fine to me it's fine but to some people uh, saying that you know Manny Pacquiao is taking some stuff or you know I'm saying that he lied about the the shoulder injury because he's healing so fast I mean I mean it's all over YouTube I mean you guys know what I'm talking about especially some some known boxing channels out there you know what I mean they're bashing Pacquiao saying that you know it was a fraud it was a hoax that uh, Manny Packer never injured anything that he never went to rehab that he never went to surgery and all that stuff right well that's just hating whatever you know and like I said a lot of these um, comments and Pacquiao haters are saying that you know it's not possible for a guy with a thorn or rotator cuff and just getting surgery to heal that fast well unless you're a doctor you know what I mean you would know <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't know you know what I'm saying but I know one thing for sure that it wasn't a fraud <laughs> he did have a surgery but anyway like I said uh, a lot of scholars out there that is bashing Pacquiao that you know he was never injured you know, like I said you know, unless you're a doctor and really knows you know what stage of the injury um, did Pacquiao um, achieve from that fight or before the fight or you know what is the proper time of healing I mean there's stages to every injury you know it's just because I got a headache it doesn't mean I got a freaking brain tumor you know what I mean <laughs> it's, it, it, there's stages to it you know, there's different things that a person can do um, on such um, injuries you know like I said it's it's ridiculous you know it's to um to just judge somebody like that it's, it's ridiculous but anyway that's just my opinion but anyway Amir Khan I think Amir Khan will be a good fight for Manny Pacquiao now I don't necessarily you know think that it's gonna you know it'll top um, what uh, 
what Keith Thurman can do or Kell Brook can do against Pacquiao, you know, as you guys know, Amir Khan, he's got somewhat of a glass chin. So, and Manny Pacquiao could, uh, Manny Pacquiao could capitalize from that. You know, if he gets caught with a left hand of Manny Pacquiao, Khan is going down, you know. But if Khan is, if Khan performs the way he performed against LG, then he'll get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? No questions about that. But if Khan grows up a little bit in, in practice and in train up, studies Pacquiao, um, a lot of people say that Khan tend to have hard time with uh, southpaws, so, hell, that's, it's anybody's game, right? Hell, a lot of people thought that, um, that, uh, whatchamacallit, Algeri was going to knock out Pacquiao and uh, retire him. Uh, that was a total 180 of what a lot of people had predicted. As a matter of fact, I was bashed and, you know, I think I, I think I was called about 27 different names that day when I said, you know, that Algeri was not about to retire Pacquiao, that Algeri was not going to do anything against Pacquiao. And yeah, I believe about 27 different types of, of names I was called to include B-I-T-C-H, Liar, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, all this stuff, a little Chinese girl, something like that. I'm not even Chinese. But anyways, um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, anything can happen in boxing just because Manny Pacquiao is is old you know he's got 63 fights now you know, 63 fights six losses 38 KOs I mean that's a lot of fights I mean Mayweather got 48 fights he's got 22 KOs you know less percentage than, than Pacquiao but um but yeah Mayweather never been defeated no draws no contests no nothing like that um, most of his fights are unanimous decision um, except uh, for the KO on the fourth round against uh, Victor Ortiz and a lot of people say he was a cheap shot also so but uh, majority I mean that's what I say if Mayweather is not willing to afford Manny Pacquiao a rematch then forget it forget it right forget it you know you got a lot of Floyd Mayweather fans out there that don't even want a Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather rematch anyway because they knew deep down that Manny Pacquiao, if there's anybody that has a chance against Mayweather, it's Manny Pacquiao, right? They don't want that. They don't want to take that chance. You know, oh, yeah, we already won. Yeah, we won. So we don't want to give that chance again, you know? Yeah. I don't think that's the mindset of Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I've not one, not one time that I thought that Manny Pacquiao has the same mindset as Mayweather to where you beat the guy even if it's once twice three times you'd still rematch with him you know give him time to catch up or give him time to um, you know to prove himself you know I mean my back is not afraid to fight anybody you know Mayweather that's a different story you know he'll give a rematch to a guy that he knows he can beat you know as a matter of fact Keith Thurman is the one that calls him a cherry picker Manny Pacquiao has never called Mayweather a cherry picker nope the only thing that Manny Pacquiao had said to Mayweather before is he might be scared of me, that's why he wasn't fighting me for a long time, you know. He waited five, six years to fight me. You know, I wanted to fight him before, but, you know, all kinds of issues came up. And, uh, and the fight did happen, uh, May 2nd, and Manny Pacquiao lost. Uh, unanimous decision, I believe. Was it? Yeah, it was unanimous decision. Can't even remember no more. And there's so many fights going on lately, so it's all, it's all over. But, yeah, Amir Khan versus Manny Pacquiao would not be a bad fight at all you know I, w I would take that any day against you know Algeria or Brandon Rios you know? so I'll be happy with that you know what I'm saying it, uh, it, it, it'd be a good pay-per-view sensation you know what I'm saying I think so especially Pacquiao coming back from a loss and coming back from a, a surgery you know it's, it gives him time to <clears throat> to prove himself once again that he can still fight you know what I'm saying if he fights Amir Khan and uh, win, uh, win victoriously and impressively, then we good. You know what I'm saying? He's back in the game. Now, the only reason that I think that fight might, might not happen is because Terence Crawford is being mentioned in the game. So, uh, as a matter of fact, Terence Crawford was the first mandatory so-called opponent for Pacquiao because Crawford has been impressive lately. He's undefeated, he's coming up in the ranks, and he wants to prove himself. 
and obviously he wants a seven figure payday. Anybody that fights Pacquiao or Mayweather is gonna be guaranteed six figures. I mean seven figure, I'm sorry. So and you guys know that. So so Amir Khan versus Pacquiao in Dubai 2016, early 2016. Let me know what you guys think and um, comment down below and talk to you in the next one. Peace.